Three civilians, including a 12-year-old child, were injured in a Russian airstrike in the Ukrainian region of Zaporizhia, local authorities said on Saturday. According to Ukraine's Interior Ministry, the attack was carried out using a guided aerial missile, targeting a residential area and local infrastructure. The State Emergency Service of Ukraine shared a video showing police and rescue teams working on the site. Residents were assessing the damage on Friday after Israeli airstrikes on central Beirut a day earlier killed at least 22 people and wounded dozens as they left two neighborhoods smoldering, Lebanon's health ministry said. The air raid in the capital apparently targeted two residential buildings in separate neighborhoods simultaneously. It brought down one apartment building and wiped out the lower floors of the other. Rescue operations were taking place in Burj Abi Haider where an entire building collapsed. Mohammed Tarhani was sitting in his living when the strike hit. He was displaced from Eba in southern Lebanon due to the constant Israeli airstrikes there. Where is one supposed to go now? Israel says Hezbollah is hiding rockets among civilians. America and Israel need to know that Hezbollah would not hide rockets among civilians, he said. The Israeli military said it was looking into the reported strikes. Israeli airstrikes have been far more common in Beirut's tightly packed southern suburbs, where Hezbollah bases many of its operations. Bilal Osman, a resident in the neighborhood, said, most of the displaced people escaped from the south and Dahia because Beirut is considered safe to a certain extent. There is no sign of anything here that raises suspicion or doubt to justify the neighborhood being struck, he added. After the strikes, Hezbollah's Al Mana TV reported that an attempt to kill Wafik Safa, a top security official with the group, had failed. It said that Safa had not been inside of either of the targeted buildings. Thursday's strikes followed a year of tit for tat exchanges between Hezbollah and Israel that boiled over into all out war in recent weeks, with Israel carrying out waves of heavy airstrikes across Lebanon and launching a ground invasion. Hezbollah has expanded its rocket fire to more populated areas deeper inside Israel, causing few casualties but disrupting daily life. The attack came the same day Israeli forces fired on United Nations peacekeepers in southern Lebanon and wounded two of them, drawing widespread condemnation and prompting Italy's defense ministry to summon Israel's ambassador in protest. Before the latest strikes, Lebanon's Crisis Response Unit said Israeli attacks over the past day had killed 28 people, bringing the total to 2,169 killed in Lebanon since the war erupted last October. نحن شنو جينا عند خير هربنا يعني مكسر مكسر جينا عند خير ما سكنا عليه على البراند البلاد نحن قاعدين بالصباح فجأة ما شفنا إلا شيء دفشنا لجوا هذا لو ظهرنا لبرا نحن أخواتي سنة نمر على الأولاد هذا بس خيو هون يعني نحن خيو نرجع ليه وهم يروحوا الواحد قلت لك إسرائيل إنه حزب الله مخبي تاريخ بين العالم خلي أمريكا وكل العالم تعرف إسرائيل حزب الله ما بخبي تاريخ بين العالم ولا بس عاد يخبي تاريخ بين العالم
المنطقه منطقه سكنيه بامتياز يعني اغلب الناس حين اللي نزحوا من الجنوب ومن الضاحيه قاعدين عندنا هون لانه بيروت تعد امنه حد ما يعني وهون بالمنطقه عندنا ما في اصلا نهائيا وجود لاي شيء يثير الريبه او الشك او انه تنضرب المنطقه منطقه سكنيه كلها مدنيين عزل